our first waiver wire target, Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, interesting. He is rostered in about 75% of leagues. Again, cut, put on waivers by the Cleveland Browns. He has 48 hours to go through waivers, be processed, come out the other side. Do you think anybody actually puts in a claim on OBJ? Odell is currently stuck in the colon of the NFL waiver process. And it's a dark place. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not where you want to be. Um, I think that he should be rostered in that he's going to be on a playoff team at some point because he's already said or his agent or whoever was like, hey, if the if somebody that's not in the playoff hunt claims me, there's going to be issues. Um, I'm actually disappointed that I dropped him in our league. Um, I, I held on to him for eight weeks, nine weeks, and then dropped him this week. Uh, and then tried to get him back with a zero bid and somebody bid $1 and I got out bid because I thought I can get him back for free, which was really disappointing. Ouch. That's what you get for being cheap, my friend. That was not a worse a way buck. to lose than to be spend outkicked. A buck on him? Yeah. Oof. I, I dropped him couldn't for nothing. Part, I wanted to get him part, back for nothing. Couldn't part with a single dollar. Um, you work. You no, sound like you true. work in and finance. Accounting, actually. Thank you very much. Um, Odell has been like he was he was one of the first guys that we crapped on on this podcast uh, going back a year and a half ago um, where he hasn't really done all that much like I was so say, 2019 because he crapped on us. Uh, it wasn't us. It was somebody else, actually, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We got there. Yeah. Uh, we got there. <laughs> Sorry if I if I missed the reference earlier. Um. So, I mean, Odell has had a couple thousand yard seasons. Uh, Five years ago. A thousand in, in 2019 and 2018. But, I mean... <laughs> What have you done for me lately? <laughs> yeah, I mean, his first three years in the league, he had 12 touchdowns, 13 and 10. He hasn't been over six since. He has zero touchdowns this year. Um, what's the likelihood that he's going to go somewhere and all of a sudden score a touchdown every other week? I mean, maybe it's higher than I think it is, but I just super unlikely, right? So I, he, he's got a like a torn like shoulder labrum, I believe. Um, he's not healthy. His dad can put together any mixtape that he wants of the professor, um, overthrowing, overthrowing his son. But like, I just don't think that you don't think he gets claimed. Well, no, no it, he's not going to get claimed because of his contract. You, re- you don't think he'll get one. claimed? No, of course not. His contract, they've, they restructured it so that, um, they had a signing bonus like immediately upon signing so that it would give the Browns cap relief if he got signed. So he's not going to get signed because his cap hits too much and no NFL team has that much cap space. And then he'll go somewhere else and be a free agent. I would be very surprised if he gets signed just because of his contract structure. Um, so yeah, I, could he be a difference maker? Sure. Um, should you try to add him? Of course I wouldn't bid anything on him personally. Because if somebody else wants him, I think he turns into a roster bomb somewhere else where he doesn't know the offense and they already have an established offense. If they're already in the playoffs, um, he's going to be their wider. He's going to be a wide receiver three somewhere at best. He is the sixth highest paid wide receiver in the NFL and pro football focus grades him below the top 50 wide receivers He's 96th in the NFL in receiving yards. I mean, plain and simple, he's just not worth the money. So, that's why I agree with you. I think he also clears waivers and becomes a UFA to sign anywhere. My question for you is, where do you think he signs? Because I have a team in mind. So... 
in my mind, there's two different spots. One that all of the Minnesota Vikings show up with a free Odell t-shirt on. Um, so that that's one space. Um, Justin Jefferson's an LSU guy. Um, I just wouldn't be surprised to see him sign in Minnesota. Sorry, KJ Osborne. Um, and the other one, which apparently is a thing, is that Russell Wilson is kind of politicking for him to show up in Seattle, which would destroy Lockett's value, at least in my opinion, where those two are going to be a thing and DK Metcalf is still going to be the number one. OBJ evidently would like to play for the Seahawks. Um, when asked about it, Pete Carroll would not say whether or not his team also wants Beckham. He said, you'll see. And when pressed further, he said, we're aware of what's going on and we've been involved to understand it and compete to know what's happening. We'll let you know as soon as it happens. I got to wait. So I didn't say yes, and I didn't say no. That's because you'll see. They have the cap to absorb his seven and a quarter million dollar salary for the balance of the season. About a third of league teams could absorb the deal without having to move money. Um, the Seahawks being one of them. Maybe they go out on a limb and claim him. I don't think that they do, but... I think that he probably ends up signing there anyway. The Seahawks uh, did also pursue uh, Josh Gordon uh, earlier in the season, but that obviously went elsewhere. So they've been active in He's the done nothing in the during or in season free agency market. So I I think he probably ends up on the Seahawks if I had to guess. Yeah, Pete Carroll trying to be Alexander Hamilton and saying, just you wait, just you wait. Um, I don't think it matters. I, I just don't think it matters overall. I would add him. I don't think you need to bid on him other than a zero bid. Um, and if you get him, that's great. And you'll try to figure out when to play him. And I just don't see him exploding or being the Odell Beckham Jr. that he was uh, literally five years ago. <laughs> All like right. literally five years ago. He had 10 touchdowns in 2016 as a 24 year old. And his best season since has been a thousand yards and six touchdowns in 2018. Like it's just not there. It's not clicking. It's not working. 